you, ladies and gentlemen, and also to Mr. and Mrs. Collins. As I'm sure most of you are aware, today marks the start of a very important journey. A journey considered by many to be one of life's most amazing experiences. To be, to be successful, you'll need commitment, teamwork, and huge amounts of passion. Personally, I just think we need to keep Wayne Rooney fit. <laughs> Before we crack on with the funny stuff, uh, I'd like to echo Miles' kind words. As I'm sure you'll all agree, the bridesmaids are looking absolutely stunning today. Uh, the hair by Nikki Clark. <laughs> the dresses by, uh, from Queen Diva in Monton. <laughs> and the foundation from B&Q. <laughs> We would also like to thank the parents of the bride and groom, Julian Frank and Lynn and Alan, for their hospitality today. That really was a lovely meal. Although being rather nervous about this speech, I think mine should be eating Blackpool soup as well. I am sure Miles knows just how nervous me and Stay are right now. For those who, for those who, for those of you that didn't know, but do as Miles ruined part of my speech. <laughs> he, was, he was my best man 12 months ago. Uh, now I'm sure, as most of you you do, the, the true meaning of marriage shouldn't be revenge. <laughs> <laughs> as you probably gathered by now, there are two best men here today. I'd like to think that Miles chose me and Ben to be joint best men, so they could both be by his side on his wedding day. But Ben reckons it's just for the photos. Me so, he, me so he'd look slimmer and tanned, and Ben so his ears won't look too big. <laughs> now, now, the real purpose of, uh, of us being up here isn't to find umpteen different people or to raise umpteen different souls. No, the real reason, and what you're all waiting for, is just to destroy Miles' character. <laughs> So let's begin. <laughs> now, this might, this might sound easy to do. However, over the past few weeks, I've been trying to think of some embarrassing stories about our groom here. Something that might, might make him think, oh my God, don't say that. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you all, I can't do that to him. He's my best mate, someone I can rely on, and someone I can honestly trust. As you can probably see, I'm getting a little emotional at the moment. And this is what happened the other night when I was thinking about this speech. There I was thinking, what top mate I have in Miles, and of all the great times we've had together. And this is when I thought to myself, I know, I'll have a look at some old photos on Facebook, some of the good times we've had, a bit of reminiscing. And this was when it happened. A few minutes after looking through these pictures, I thought to myself, Jesus, my mate is one hell of a poser. <laughs> but not only that, I had realised who he's modelled himself on all these years. <laughs> Anyone got any ideas? Alan. 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 Come on, who, who, who does he Famous model himself people. on? Come Famous on. Famous people. Be 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 huh? Jackson. Beckham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Uh, obviously, we thought we'd better so, uh, bring some proof with us. Uh, as you will see, there seems to be a bit of a following in the trends with these two. I wondered why you had them yeah, yeah. So we have uh, this first one, David Beckham. Uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, a good looking bloke, you'll agree, ladies. <laughs> Hold on. As did Miles. This was, as you can see by this vote, Beckham, this was uh, the first haircut he went for. It gets, cool, it gets better, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll see the difference here. My, Miles went for a similar little moment in the middle. You know, we, we won't let him off without coincidences happen. <laughs> However, this, this was when David went for a slightly more clean cut look. Picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Again, ladies, I'm sure you'll agree. Yeah. 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 However, this was uh, closely followed by Miles. <laughs> so, still, we can put this down to coincidence. Let's give Miles the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> then David went for this slight. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah. However, this is when things got a little strange. 
I'm, sh I'm sure you will all remember when David went for the famous mohawk. Oh, <laughs> 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 and you'll never guess who had a similar idea. <clears throat> <laughs> I've seen this one. You know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> ticked off by his copycat flashes. <laughs> so it was obviously time for Bex to go into disguise. Oh, what have you got now? You don't know what's going on. Clearly Bex doesn't know the measures my mate will go to. <laughs> So, Jane, I'm afraid it looks like you're now live 30 miles' his list of priorities. <laughs> Obviously, nothing will ever top, uh, top the sunbeds. <laughs> However, it looks like uh, Beckham follows in a close second. <laughs> Though I'm sure you don't mind golden ball, uh, the real golden ball being on top of you. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. One thing I can't get my head round, though, if you see yourself as a bit of a high flyer, surely your bride deserves to go somewhere more exotic than Wales on a honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to Wales. Yeah, going to Mexico. You're in Mexico. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, seriously, you're in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to Mexico. No, 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 no. Got it wrong. This is a text that I sent to Miles the other week. Exact words. <laughs> Hi mate, how's it going? Looking forward to the honeymoon. To which Miles replied, Damn right, going to Bangor for the week. <laughs> In the guide to writing the best man's speech, it's said to give the groom a little praise. Miles has many close friends in here today, and I'm sure they would all back me up when I say, you really could have been a nicer guy. Someone you can trust, and someone that would never let you down. There is honestly no one I'd prefer to share a beer with, and I uh, feel privileged to call him my best mate. opportunity to thank both Miles and Jane for being great friends for us, both, for us both over the years. There's not many best men who can describe the bride, a true friend, as well as a groom, but we are lucky we can do exactly that. It's a great honour, albeit the most terrifying experience of our lives, to be asked the best men here today, and we hope neither of them need our services again. <laughs> so not doing it. Uh, finally, we would like to take this opportunity to wish the happy couple a wonderful future together. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you would all stand, please. Not another toast. Yeah. To the bride and groom. Bride and groom. Done. Woo! Let's get a jump. Come on. <laughs>